Hi folks, it's me, Sam. It's great to see you again. Today, we're going to dive back into talking about a pretty big topic. What is this topic, you might ask? Well, we're going to be talking about abortion. And you might have noticed it's in the news a lot these days. There's a lot of information about different ways to end a pregnancy and the laws about that. And guess what? It's totally normal to be really curious and have some big questions. I'm here to help with some answers. So let's go. Today, the two specific things we're going to be talking about are medication abortion and self-managed abortion. One of the ways a person can choose to end a pregnancy is with what's called a medication abortion. With a medication abortion, people use pills to end the pregnancy. People might make this choice when they don't want to be pregnant or when the pregnancy is not healthy or safe. A medication abortion can be started at a healthcare clinic, a doctor's office, or at home, or even a combination of these places. And it's important to remember, this process is most effective in the early stages of pregnancy. So how does this actually work, you might be wondering? Well, to start, a doctor usually prescribes two different medications. The pills are called mifepristone and misoprostol. I know, a little hard to pronounce, right? Some doctors might just prescribe misoprostol. The medicines work by stopping the pregnancy from growing and then causing cramping and bleeding to empty the contents of the uterus through the vagina. For some people, this might feel like a very heavy period. For others, it will be an intense experience with intense cramping. Another type of medication abortion is called a self-managed abortion. What's that, you ask? Well, it works like this. Remember those pills we were just talking about? Mifepristone and misoprostol? With a self-managed abortion, a person gets either both of these pills or just misoprostol alone, which can be just as effective, without the help of a medical provider or health clinic. People find information like the name of the medication and the specific dosage from trusted sources like the World Health Organization and at abortionpillinfo.org. Medication abortion is a really safe and effective way to end a pregnancy. And the medical risks of medication abortion, whether self-managed or managed by a healthcare professional, are extremely rare, just in case you were worried or had concerns about that. It's important to think about why a person might choose to manage their own abortion. Everyone should have the choice about if and when they have children. And with self-managed abortion, the person has a lot of ability to make some important decisions. Maybe the person needs control over the timing and over the location of their abortion. Maybe they feel safest at home and with people at home who can support them. Maybe they've had bad experiences at doctor's offices in the past. In some cases, self-managed abortion can be the most affordable option. It could be that they live somewhere where they can't access a health clinic or doctor's office and they don't have the ability to travel. We might not know the reasons why someone chooses self-managed abortion, but what we do know is that it can give someone an important feeling of safety and of being in control of their own choices. One last thing to talk about on this topic is the legal side. This is one of the reasons this has been in the news so much these days. In some places, self-managed abortion is against the law. In other places, even if it's not specifically against the law, some people have gotten into legal trouble for it. It's important for anyone considering self-managed abortion to do some research on the laws in their community so they understand their rights. A trusted adult can definitely help with this research, too. There are lots of ways to learn more about self-managed abortion. A person can talk to a trusted adult or look on a website or app. There's some great websites and apps online. Wow, okay, we covered a lot today. I'm so glad I was able to be your tour guide through this important information. And remember, if you have questions, you can always come back to see me and I'll explain it all again. 